Spring is here. Well, baseball is anyway, as the Yankees train in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. The world champs will again rely on pitcher Whitey Ford and reliever Louis Arroyo. Joined this year by Robin Roberts trying for a comeback as two rookies, Lintz and Trash, try for shortstop. That big gun Mickey Mantle is hoping for another big season as record buster Roger Maris is. Maris and Mantle, they'll trigger the Yankees' big guns. Speaking of guns, the Colts expect their 45s to speak for them in their first year in the National League 10-team circuit. Coach Harry Kraft and manager Paul Richards are optimistic about their infant club as they keep a weather eye on pitcher Jim Umbricht, who has as a mom mate little Bobby Shantz. Dick Farrell is another pitching hopeful. And the Colts are also relying on men like Jim McDaniel, up from Denver, who's also sharp in the field. The Colts may not wind up in first division, but they'll be hard to tame. It's four years since the Giants reached San Francisco from New York, and despite players like Kuhn, Mays, and the Yellow Brothers, they still haven't reached pennant heaven. This year, with pitchers like Pierce, LeMay, McCormick, and giant newcomer Don Larson, they hope to grab that precious bunting. Larson, remember, pitched that perfect World Series game for the Yankees. Harvey Kuhn hopes for a batting comeback, while the incomparable Willie Mays has no worries. The new Mets are bringing National League Baseball back to New York, but an added attraction, old Professor Casey Stengel himself did talk things up. He admits his pitching is weak, but he has men like Roger Craig, ex-Dodger, and a former Cincinnati player, Jay Hook, to build upon. Felix Mantilla and Charlie Neal are a double play combination, with another ex-Dodger, Gil Hodges. The Mets are showing some preseason pep that should raise the expectations of New York fans. Anyway, they have Casey.